Hi, I'm Megan Detta, Director of Emerging Markets at Launch. Today, I'm joined by my friend Tom LeBlanc to share some exciting news. Hey, Tom. Hey, Megan. It's great to join you. I'm excited to make this announcement. You ready to share? Yes. So Rave and NSCA are teaming up on a new series, AV101, that is designed to act as an entry-level gateway into technology solutions and career, <clears throat> career paths that make the pro AV industry exciting. And a big thank you to our friends at Cinex who are making this series possible. I mean, it's just such an important thing to be working on right now, Megan. I mean, talent is such a challenge. You know, I work at NSCA. We talk to integration companies all the time. And, you know, one of the biggest challenges now during the pandemic, but before the pandemic, and unfortunately, probably after the pandemic, one of the biggest challenges always relates to talent. And it's just, it's so strange. You and I have talked about this in the past. It's almost as if this industry exists in a bubble and only the people inside of the bubble know about the great career opportunities that are out there for the taking. And people that we talk to outside of work tend not to know what integration is. And, you know, it's it's such a shame because there are so many promising young individuals that would thrive in this in this industry and have rewarding careers. And, you know, I wish it was more like a farm system, like in baseball, where, you know, whether people are you know really passionate about business or really passionate about technology and engineering or really passionate about, you know, creative, um, the creative aspect of, of um, you know, working, there are so many opportunities for them to come in and learn and grow and then grow into leadership roles and have other folks, you know, step into the roles that they were in before. And, you know, that's what NSCA really wants to see. We want to see promising young individuals get their chance in this industry. Right. And at RAVE, we talk a lot about the pipeline to professionals and the work NSCA and others are doing. And we want to actually do something about it. You know, not only is there a pipeline problem, but it's it can be difficult coming into this industry as a non-technical person. I was one of those people. I came in doing events and marketing and I didn't really know what AV was. I just knew I wanted this job because it was close to my house and, you know, a good position to take it. But then the more I learned about the industry, the more there's so many different opportunities, like you said, for upward movement. I mean, there's marketing, customer support, and all of this is going to help with the fundamentals of AV so that you can grow your career no matter what position that you're in. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it's a great opportunity whether you're passionate about technology or not. Certainly, if you're passionate about technology, there are so many different ways you can excel in this industry. But we both know lots of people who are in leadership roles at different integration companies that stepped into this industry with very little knowledge of it. What they brought was marketing expertise, like you said, or project management expertise and or counting. You know, th these are companies that have a wide array of opportunities in them. It's not all about connecting wires. That's a big part of it. And system design and engineering is a huge part of it. But I would like for people to think a little bit differently about the opportunities in this industry. These are business opportunities. These are creative opportunities. There are lots of different ways to excel. But, you know, Megan, you know, one of the things is, you know, we were talking before about how when we talk to friends outside the industry, they tend not to know what we do. And you and I don't create video walls and you and I don't, you know, design audio systems, but we're part of an industry that does that. And I think when young professionals, people looking, you know, for interesting careers would learn a little bit about how impactful it is to be able to create an audio system that you know reaches people that need to be reached, whether it be because there's an important message that needs to be communicated, or maybe it's about you know building equity and creating you know a better opportunity for everybody to be able to hear a message, or for people to understand what goes into creating a complex um, corporate communication system and the impact that has not just on the company, but on the employees' lives and their ability to be more flexible. And, you know, being able to walk through places and see dynamic video walls and things like that and realize that you're a part of it. 
it's just there is so much in terms of career opportunity that can be really rewarding in this industry. And I wish people would get as excited about it as as we are. Well, hopefully this series will help. And I know you guys are going to help spread the word about this series with your NSCA ambassadors. You want to talk a little bit about what they do? Yes. So NSCA has a program called Ignite. Now, the idea is that, you know, to address that bubble I mentioned before, to find ways to bring in new people into this industry that might not already have known about it. So the Ignite program includes ambassadors or NSCA members who identify as ambassadors, and we would arm them with information to be able to go to places where recruiting isn't normally done in this industry. So this might be, you know, to technical high schools, it might be to job fairs, it might be to geographic areas that aren't typically tapped into for this industry. And the idea is let's educate them about these opportunities and then bring them into um, an internship program that NSCA would help companies to run. So now we get more folks getting their feet in the door in this industry. And then we start to build that pipeline, which is really exciting. Yeah, I'm excited about this pipeline. I'm excited about this program helping kick off that pipeline. So the six-part series of AV101 is going to kick off officially on March 7th, and we're going to stream that live on launch.com and on my Twitter and LinkedIn and on the Raves Twitter and LinkedIn. All right, and don't forget that 30 days after the episode airs, it will be available on both NSCA and Rave Pubs' YouTube and you know, we'll talk again about how exciting this is. And I want to thank Synex, uh, just like Megan did, for making this possible. Yeah, a big shout out to Synex. So to learn more about AV101, visit launch.com. That's L-A-V-N-C-H.com. And register for our first episode, where I'll be joined by Hope Roth, Chris Netto, Nairi Hollingsworth to discuss Pro-AV career paths and what it, look like, it looks like to work in the industry. We'll see you soon.